When Vanderbilt University School of Medicine sought to improve its curriculum, it turned to Dr. Kathleen C. Pettifer. Leading by example, Dr. Pettifer revised her own presentations, assumed responsibility for a comprehensive faculty development program, and helped redesign the student promotions process. Dr. Pettifer is known for her extraordinary devotion to students and their success. A sought-after mentor for students and faculty alike, she has received countless awards for her excellence as an educator. The driving force of really medical education across the nation is that it's been pretty stagnant for over a hundred years. So I was part of a collaborative team of faculty uh, that worked together to sort of reinvent Vanderbilt's medical school curriculum. And we wanted to do that by better integrating the basic foundational sciences with clinical application. Um, we also wanted to make it a competency-based um, educational curriculum. That then has allowed us to introduce uh, new modalities that are more active teaching, um, and it allows to assess all the other attributes and characteristics that we look for and want to have in our um, physicians. Whenever I see students that may have struggled early on, trying to either um, find their way or getting past that maybe they don't belong, when they sort of reach that pinnacle and become mature, sort of competent physicians in training, it's, it's just really remarkable and gives, a, a, gives me a very, very proud sort of feeling. I would like to thank many individuals that I think have been instrumental in helping me become the educator and leader that I have been today. Um, critical mentors for me were um, Paula Hoos, Lillian Annie, Jeanette Norton, and Art Daly. Um, also a uh, partner in crime in the curriculum revisions, Neil Osheroff, as well as many in administrators, Kim Lomas, Amy Fleming, Bill Couture, and most importantly, Bonnie Miller. Um, all who saw something in me that um, I didn't know was there and existed um, and has helped me sort of become the leader I have been or I am today. I also want to uh, most importantly thank uh, my family who have loved and supported me unconditionally and allow me to do the things that I want to do each and every day.